We are children of the Lord. And God tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created things in order and there was no disturbance. And we learn of this truth because we see how creation works. Look at the ants. Look at the leaves. Look at the growth of vegetables, vegetation. You will testify that God works in harmony with his laws. There are two education systems that has been battling since the creation of this earth. And one which is true education and the other is false education. True education is the harmonious development of the physical, mental and spiritual power. Deals with the head, the heart and the hand. It develops one's spirituality in terms of the relationship with God. The source of such knowledge is from above. God himself was the instructor. He was teaching uh, the ways of living, what to eat, what not to eat. Education started in heaven. There we find God instituting the right education that was based on love. But we find another education system that started with Saturn. And we see it being propagated up to Eden and the entire world has been filled with war with this kind of education system. So corrupt and does not care because the author is the father of all lies. He knew that the Lord was going to do something and he wasn't going to surprise us. And through the ages we now see Abraham being the faithful of God, having one lineage which was obeying God and the other lineage which was disobedient to God. Why are we doing this? So imagine that the friends come in the resolution. It was God's intention that Luther should nail the 95 errors on the door of the Roman Catholic Church. Hence, the birth of Reformation. And many people rose and joined together, and Protestantism was given birth. The laws of nature, the laws of nature is interpreted. They say that the number of Christ compels us. Because Christ compels us to do things in the way of education. The mother is more important than the king upon his throne. For she is a queen who mount her children's character. Mothers play a big role in educating their children. So they moved from the country and they, they went to the state of the country. Because they were taught the ways of the world. This just gives me a glimpse of a loving father. Oh, how gracious his love is. Is such a wonderful and marvelous king that he gave Jesus Christ to die for our sins. We see this wrapping throughout the history of the world and illustrated in the two education systems. And we see how lies wrap up itself and reveals itself to humankind. This is the Father's love that he has bestowed upon me that we might be called the sons of God, his sons and daughters the heaven kingdom that he wants us to be. This school that invites us to love him and to love others, to live for others. This is the love that we love one another because God is love. Uh, in Jeremiah prophesies, Jeremiah 2.18, he says, people have forsaken the living uh, wisdom and they have gone to what? They 
documented is not a problem. We like it or not. Whether you know the subject or you don't know the subject. We can also back, go back to the Latin. The papacy was in charge of the education. Uh, the papacy, which is led by the Pope, the Pope who claims to be uh, in the position of Jesus Christ. Okay. If it falls on your head, you collapse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one. But you saw that from Bukino. I was four. <laughs> 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 